and thanks for tuning in to IDG's Corporate Update. Today, I'm joined by Jamie Keach, the Executive Chairman and Co-Founder of Vita Carbon. Jamie, it's very nice to see you again. How are you doing? Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm doing great. Um, excited to be here, excited to talk about Vita uh, and everything we've been up to the last few months. Fantastic. Uh, so let's kick things off. Can you give us a quick snapshot of the company? So Vita Carbon is effectively a decarbonization company. Uh, what we do is we invest heavily in projects that um, decarbonize the world, and they do this primarily through the use of carbon credits on the voluntary market. So we invest in everything uh, from what we would call nature-based solutions. These are projects that are planting trees, conserving forests, um, using sort of advanced agricultural practices, uh, preserving uh, blue um, ocean projects, so mangrove, seagrass, things like that. Uh, we also invest in things that um, actively uh, avoid emissions. These are things like renewable energies, like uh, improved household efficiency for items there. Uh, so our mandate is really to find and invest in the best projects we can that help decarbonize the world and create very, very high quality carbon credits. Wow, that is, that is such a, a wide range of, uh, of different initiatives, but obviously very needed <laughs> in today's world. I think that's important because, you know, the, this is not a one size, sort of one solution fits all. It's going to take a huge range of strategies, of projects, of initiatives in order to actually really make an impact here. And our goal is to help our investors sort of spread that capital across a range of initiatives uh, that one, are incredibly impactful, but two, equally and just as importantly, have you know significant returns, return potential on invested capital. Right, so it's win-win on both sides. In September of last year, Vita Carbon was announced as the new title sponsor of Sir Lewis Hamilton's Extreme E team. I was just wondering if you could share some highlights about how that partnership all came about. Yeah, it, um, it came about uh, very organically and with a bit of luck, I would say. So very coincidentally, uh, a friend of a friend of mine's older sister is Lewis Hamilton's manager. Wow. And the the younger crazy. brother and I were chatting and I said, look, you know, we love what you guys are doing. You know, we're looking to partner with groups that share a similar vision to us at Vita Carbon. And Lewis Hamilton, you know, despite being a race car driver that burns fossil fuels for a living, has made it a real mission of himself to uh, fight climate change and bring awareness to uh, the challenges posed by climate change. And one of the initiatives he's taken is this Extreme E electric racing team. So Extreme E is electric off-road racing, travels around the world, races in five different locations every year to really highlight the impact of climate change on these locations. And this ranges from you know, the Atacama Desert in Chile, to Greenland, to Sardinia in Europe, all over the globe, they're doing these things. And Lewis Hamilton's team, X44, uh, was looking for a partner sponsor uh, after, you know, a lot of back and forth and making sure it was really aligned with our values. We ended up joining up as the title sponsor. So now it is X44 Vita Carbon Racing. That is very, very exciting. Obviously, this fits into what Vita Carbon is doing as a company. Extreme E, how does that have an impact, I guess, on the regions and where they're racing? I understand they, they try and leave a positive impact in the different locations that they're racing. I mean, the reason we join this uh, is because it really aligns with both our mission of decarbonization, but also bringing awareness to the impact of climate change. So to your point, you know, every race uh, in the Extreme E series, they have what's called a legacy project in all locations. And what they do is <clears throat> they actively invest in some sort of decarbonization activity uh, and bring awareness to the impacts of climate change there. So a good example is Sardinia. So Sardinia, you know, small, not a small, quite a large island off of Italy uh, had been ravaged by forest fires. And what they did, is they partnered, they did two things. They partnered with Vodafone to help install these sort of sensors that help detect forest fires before they really start to spread. So these sensors can effectively 
you know, smell smoke, identify smoke before a, a fire really has a chance to gain momentum and gain steam, and they can, you know, send in the resources to, to, to kill that. They also um, helped with uh, seagrass projects. So seagrass uh, is sort of a blue carbon project, uh, blue carbon, very, very essential. So they also brought a lot of awareness to um, the regeneration of seagrass fields uh, off, of, uh, off of Sardinia. So that's just one example. And they have uh, projects everywhere. They, they hold a race that's designed to, one, again, bring awareness to the challenges that these places have faced, you know, such as forest fires, and two, uh, actually take some steps to combat them. And they're typically doing projects that remove carbon from the atmosphere or reduce carbon emissions to begin with. And that is very much what we do at Vita Carbon, right? Every project that we have is actively designed to either remove carbon or reduce emissions. And that's how you generate carbon credits, uh, which we of course then sell to some of the biggest companies, some of the biggest emitters in the world, such as Shell Energy. Uh, but you know, bringing it back to Extreme E, it was very, very much aligned to our internal mission and what we're trying to bring awareness to what we're doing. And then from a purely you know, economic perspective, you know, we sell our carbon credits to the biggest companies in the world. And the goal is of course, to make the biggest companies aware of what we're doing in the world, right? Right now we've focused on energy companies, on financial institutions, but we also wanna be getting in front of the Nikes and the H&Ms and the Nestle's. And you know, like any good startup company, uh, advertising and awareness is an important part of what we're doing. And, you know, Extreme E is part of an Amazon Prime series. Uh, you know, it goes out to millions and millions of people around the globe. It's got tons of followers on YouTube where they're also the videos. So it was a good way to wear, raise awareness about what we're doing and help bring in, you know, potential clients for us. Wow, I can't think of a more perfect a pairing and again, a great strategy, obviously, to get all those eyeballs. Yeah. To say it was, you know, pure genius on my part, but it also really kind of <laughs> fell into our lap a little bit, and uh, you know, it was, it came up, and you know, we kind of leapt at it because we didn't really think we'd get another chance for this sort of level of exposure. No kidding! Wow. Well, I wish you all the best of luck in uh, this upcoming season. I, I understand you're off to Saudi Arabia for the uh, for the first race. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Very, very cool. Uh, so how, if people want to learn more about your Extreme E team or Vita Carbon, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, I mean, we have a website. So just go to uh, vitacarbon.com. You'll find everything you want there. Uh, and of course you can go to Extreme E. They've got a website and our team's page is uh, X44 Vita Carbon. You can follow that on Twitter, on Instagram, any sort of social media, uh, they'll have a presence there. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for this update, Jamie. I hope you'll keep us posted on uh, future developments. Thank you very much.